YouTube too. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayana. We're going to get right into the video. Today's topic will be about Kanye. I have um my notes here and this will probably be like a four part video. Very short because I just want to get right to the point and just talking about it. So the first lesson I learned through it all as a disclaimer, I was skeptical. I asked God for discernment because you always have to test every spirit. That's what the Bible tells us. And so you know, through it all, God really showed me, like, this is him, you know, like, this was all God. And so the first lesson that I learned personally is that God will use anybody, anybody. It could be a donkey. It could be a child. You know, it could be a, a an elderly person, whatever. It could be a person who has a mental issue, whatever it is, God will use anybody. So I'm like, in my head, I'm like, God, you know how to pick them. We all know Kanye. Kanye is so bold. He doesn't care about people's opinions, and he always makes an impact. It never fails. Whether you like it or not, Kanye is, like, the perfect person for something like this, you know, because the one thing I love about God is that he'll always use our strengths for his glory. You know, because Kanye had that not caring attitude, because he was so bold, seeing him putting all that energy into Christ it's so amazing to me and I like give him so much props because it's not easy, especially when when you know what you used to do and now you're like you did like a whole 360. It's amazing to see how God will literally like use the most unlikely people. And, you know, also one thing I noticed, it doesn't matter about where you came from doesn't matter what you did in the past. All God wants is a willing heart. So don't you ever let these church people, don't you ever let these so-called Christians who are low-key religious leaders and modern-day modern day Pharisees, you know, on the low, don't ever let them tell you that you cannot be used by God or you need to get it together before ever pursuing ministry. I understand, like, there are certain steps that need to be taken. Don't get me wrong. But still, don't ever tell yourself that you cannot be used by God. Because look at Kanye. God can use anybody, you know? Don't let them tell you that. My thing is, if you have a willing heart, if you have that desire to want to be used by God, you need to allow God to do that change within your heart. That's all that it takes. Because he doesn't care about the outside. People care about the outside appearance. They care about the sins that they see on you. God knows our heart. Because no matter what, we're all sinners. I don't care how amazing a Christian influencer is. They still sin. We all sin. But God still knows our heart. He knows that even though we sin, you know, we don't mean to hurt him. It's just, that's just how our flesh is. You know what I'm saying? So we live in a very fallen world. Sin is inevitable. But if God sees our heart, that should be like that extra push that you needed to pursue whatever it is that God wants you to pursue. So don't ever let people tell you you're not good enough. You're not spiritual enough. You don't go to church enough or look at what you used to do. Don't let them tell you that. That's not how it works. Just know that if you're willing, you have the heart to do it. God can do a whole 360. If you don't believe me, look at Paul, you know, Paul murdered Christians and look at how God and look how God changed him. You know what I'm saying? So just understand that and I will definitely See you in part two of this video, which I will also be uploading today. Toot toot!